Here we look at why habit stacking has been something of a game changer for me through its benefits of massively increasing my productivity and helping to build positive routines, and specifically why it can have the same benefits for you too. Let me be honest, I suck at building positive habits and routines in my life. Simply put, I'm a lazy bum. Actually, it's something I've struggled with throughout my life as like most people, I know what I should do, but I don't follow through to do it. The thing is, I found that the more I made it process driven rather than trying to willfully build habits, the easier I found it to make it stick for the long term. And I think it's something that many people can apply in their own lives to get similar benefits. I'm not particularly special in case that wasn't blindingly obvious already, nor am I especially disciplined or motivated. I just did something which set me up for success. Here, I'm going to go through how I use habit stacking and the steps you can use to utilize it yourself. This video is actually a follow up to a video I released a short while ago about if then habit building, which if you haven't already seen before, I'd highly recommend doing so before finishing the rest of this video. This won't only benefit you in building new habits, but has been shown to be highly effective in studies conducted. If you're interested, be sure to check out the link in the description. Habit stacking is taking the idea of building if then habits, known as implementation intention, and then adding associated habits to them to build up a routine. For example, in the video where I talk about if then habits, I actually apply habit stacking in a limited capacity, as I talk about how if I work for 30 minutes, I'll take a short break away from my desk. However, to add to this, after I move away from my desk for my break, I also add that I'll do some form of exercise, in that particular case being walking. As you can see, in the habit, I've stacked exercise as part of my habit of taking regular breaks. Therefore, not only do I benefit from taking breaks during work, but now I'm caring for my physical well-being too during that time. And trust me when I say it's been needed since the start of the pandemic. All in all, not only does this mean I'm more productive, but equally I'm taking active steps, quite literally, to be at peak performance. This compounding effect of habit stacking is not only beneficial, but makes it easier for you to build beneficial habits by grouping them together. Now, to understand why it works, you first need to understand brain function. The principal idea behind habit stacking is that you associate a habit that you want to form with one that you've already established, which then acts as an anchor habit. For example, I try to wake up consistently early on a day-to-day -day basis, so this acts as my anchor habit. However, on top of this, I stack multiple habits I want to do in the morning routine, which helps me start the day in an effective and engaged way. This includes keeping my alarm away from my bed so I have to get up to turn it off. Once off, I'll spend a short amount of time reviewing my schedule for the day ahead, after which I do a little meditation, brush my teeth, a process which in itself is formed of numerous habits, and then set my state to tackle the day ahead. That last one is especially important as let's face it, most of us probably aren't in the best state of mind soon after waking up. In my case, I'm basically a zombie from The Walking Dead. I'm gonna eat your brain, zombie. Here, as you can see, I've associated four additional habits to my anchor habit of waking up early, all of which helps form my morning routine. So why does this work? It's all about how neurons form connections in the brain. Essentially, when you have more focus and practice a particular habit or skill, the connection in the brain associated to that action will be stronger. Likewise, if you don't practice the habit or skill, then the connection not only weakens, but can eventually get pruned as the brain discards what it deems unnecessary. The reason habit stacking works is we associate additional habits we want to form and group them with a habit we already have a strong connection in the brain for. So how do you apply habit stacking? The idea of habit stacking is to identify positive and beneficial habits that you want to incorporate into your lifestyle and associate them to a habit you've already formed. In effect, this becomes a checklist you can follow as a routine, something that will grow to be automatic as time passes and you do it regularly. Take my earlier example of where I move away from a desk when taking a break. During this time, I do some form of exercise. Initially, I had to remind myself to exercise while on the break, but today it comes naturally. Well, most of the time. Okay, sometimes. In seriousness though, this process of exercise during breaks has been massively beneficial for my physical health, and this is something that requires some thought and specificity. For example, I utilize my lunch break to get a walk, but I specify that if I can't walk outside, then I'll walk on the treadmill. 
This prevents me from having an excuse not to walk when the time comes. However, beyond this, planning is required, as I don't usually enjoy walking straight after eating lunch, so instead I've formed a habit to eat lunch while working, an hour before I take my lunch break. So the way to utilise habit stacking yourself is to go through a process to first identify the anchor habit that you're stacking from, then go through a process to identify the stacked habits associated to it. Once done listing your habits, review them to understand what order you can stack them to be most effective, and then go through a process to write out your habits as a checklist, structuring them as number 1, your anchor habit, number 2, after I've done my anchor habit, I will do habit 1, number 3, after I've done habit 1, I'll do habit 2, and so on. Initially, this checklist approach will give you a structured list you can tick off when forming habits and they're yet to be automatic routines for you. Soon enough though, they'll become automated processes. So I highly recommend giving habit stacking a try when creating your if then habits, and as mentioned earlier, be sure to check out the video on if then habits by following the link on screen now.